Well, I think it's time for another update on the chicks. Uh, they're about a week old now, um, maybe a week and a day, something like that. And I'm starting to develop some feathers, some wing feathers. Um, I'm still not sure exactly what is what here, but I'm starting to get a better idea. Um, I've lost two more um, on top of the one that showed up dead. I've lost two more since then. I think it was the first day or so. I'm not sure why. They probably just were, uh, probably just didn't make the trip very well and were weak already and didn't really get started eating right. Um, I think spending your first day as a chick on a truck in a box somewhere is probably a little more stressful than spending it under your mother's wings. So three out of 80 is still still pretty good, and really they all seem pretty healthy now. I don't see any problems with any of them. Um, I just fed them and watered them, so everything's full up right now. Um, this pan right in front of me is basically cottage cheese. It's some milk that I had, some raw milk that went sour, so I put it out and let it clabber up, and the solid stuff is cottage cheese. The, the liquid is the way, and they really go for that. They've been cleaning that up. I've been giving them some this this pan full every morning and evening, and they've been cleaning it up right away. So it gives them a lot of good probiotics and um, good stuff to go along with the the basic feed I give them, which isn't anything special. It's just your typical um, typical farm store grain feed. So it's nice to give them something better than that to get their nutrition going. Um, over in the corner, I threw some weeds the other day with some dirt just to give them some kind of some outdoors to be poking through and scratching through. Um, giving them some dirt gives them a chance to pick up some of the outdoor bacteria that uh, will start to get their immune system going. Uh, that along with the that along with the sour milk um, gives them a good start with their immune system and general health. Um, I just gave them some more bedding over here in a pile, so they're getting started kicking through that. They're still pretty skittish about me. I haven't really been spending any time down here other than just coming in to water them and feed them, so they still, they're still pretty scared of me, but they're coming right up for this milk here without worrying too much about me. But if I move over there, they'll, they'll all scatter, so I'll just stay right here. Um, the light-colored ones, um, I know, are the Americanas. They're the, the green and blue egg layers, and I'm really not sure how many there are, but um, there should be should be ten of them, or about that. And the dark ones, I think the dark ones are going to turn out to be the speckled Sussex, but I'd have to check on that. And then the others are a mix of the, the dark Cornish and, and probably the... Um, the other breed I got that I can't ever think of the name of, because it's a it's one I haven't had before. But probably in another week I'll be able to tell for sure what's what. Um, and the Americanas are all kind of different. This one down here right in front of me is really gray, really really light colored. Some of the others are darker, so it'll be interesting to see what she looks like when she gets older. And I still have them under the heat lamps. I haven't started turning the heat lamps off at night yet or anything like that. Um, I probably could because they're not... They are sitting under them, but they're not uh, clumping up under them or anything like that. And they're still... They're moving around and... And uh, they're, they started coming over this concrete barrier almost right away after the first couple of days. And roaming around the, the bigger pen. So... Uh, they're not too attached to the heat lamp, so I'll probably put a timer on it this weekend and start turning it off some at night so they can get some real sleep and, and start getting used to a normal, a more normal day-night cycle. And I'll probably need to bring in, bring in a bigger waterer soon because these aren't really, you know, they're, they're lasting 24 hours right now, but just barely. So to make sure they don't run out, I'm having to water them twice a day, and that, that won't last too much longer. They'll get to where I'll have to have a bigger waterer to last them through the day while I'm gone. The feeder will be the same way, but that's not, not that big a deal. You can feed them in just about anything, or, or just scatter it on the floor as far as that goes. And pretty soon I'll probably make up some 
eggs and milk, or not eggs, some oats, some oats and milk, and give them those, add to their diet a little bit. Hopefully within about a month I'll be able to move them on out to the barn. Um, I certainly could right now with the weather what it's like, um, at least during the day. I don't know, at night if it's getting down to 50 or 60, they couldn't handle that yet, but in a few weeks they should be able to. I'll gradually use the lights here less, move them up. I'll gradually move the lights up higher to where they're not as, it's not as warm. Let them get used to a little lower temperatures. Right now it's still about 90 under the lights. And another week, that can be down to 70 or 80 and they'll be fine. And once that, once they can handle that, it won't be long before they can go out to the barn. Since I don't have power out there, they can't really go out there until I know they're, they're going to be okay with the normal night temperatures. So they seem to be doing pretty well. They're uh, pretty content when I come down here. They're generally just kind of laying in a, in a group underneath the, the lower light and taking it pretty easy. They seem pretty content so far, so I'll just keep feeding them, watering them, and throwing some, I'll probably bring some grass down here soon, some more grass and dirt, and give them something to play with. Um, maybe, maybe put a few sticks across here that they can start playing around, roosting on, climbing on, stuff like that. Um, they already chase mosquitoes around if they spot one, so they're, uh, they're definitely alert and and looking for something to do. I think it's a few too many to take outside just to just to give them some outdoor time. I think that'll have to wait until I actually move them out to the barn, but up oh, there they just about caught a mosquito that flew through them. Well, I think that'll be it for this update. I'll go ahead and let them paw through that pile of bedding for tonight. And spread that out for me. And then check on them again in the morning. <laughs>